the macaque got completely changed. It is now tier 4 and summons a level 1 Govilla with 8 8 stats. It activates on start of battle, so you can only start the fight with 4 units in order to have enough space for the Govilla. This means it can work very well with Llama or Manta Ray. It is also very easy to buy and sell if you use the macaque. Being a tier 4 unit means you can now have a tier 6 Govilla on round 5. It's actually both strong and very fun to use. I got two different builds with it, a summon build and a team scaling build. Enjoy! Ouch. Oh, that's badly out of what's loss, I suppose. Finally, a macaque. Okay, but now we can only have four units, right? I wish we could have had a level 2 sea turtle. Let me just get... Okay, we'll do that for buying some buff my thingy. Okay, if we do this, we don't get the, the gorilla now. No, screw it. Level 2 summon combo. A bit too late to level up sea turtle. It's round 10. It's this guy with a slug. Mm, yup, this didn't hit once. Okay. Well, at this just leaves room for the bind cell. Okay, so this needs a food park. Oh my god, well, that was easy. That's perfect. Okay, let's see. Gorilla with flying fish, sea turtle. <laughs> uh, that's decent. Oh man, flea. Well, it still has good enough HP, doesn't it? Level 2? Oh my god, from the floor. Okay, I, I thought about this when we, uh, when we went for flying fish, but I, I forgot about it. I, I can't, oh my god, well. There's no way we don't go for that. Okay, that's amazing. Level 2 Gavilla. Well, no, it's still a level 1, but double stats now. Well, we might go into tomato territory now. It's gonna suck. Wait, our thingy didn't do anything. Thank you. This one coconut, almost level 3. Well, I like it. New bear. Not too impressive. I really wish we could use this and get the gorilla as well, but... I guess we could do this and we get bigger slugs, but the stats on it are good anyway. Or flying fish. Kindly take that. A tomato. It's pretty good. Buy and sell. Why not? Mm. Yeah, I think we're just gonna take the one. Onion. Move back. Move to the back when the front ones could give that to this, give it to the gorilla, but definitely doesn't do anything too interesting. Oh god. Okay, no trumpets. That's unfortunate. And ouch, they have enough stats to fight this guy, unfortunately. Ignore snipes twice for the flying fish. It is a pretty important thing to keep. I think the sea turtle should go away though. Tomato, we'll take some more stats. African penguin. Buy and sell, buy a tomato. <laughs> Nah, we'll do it. I'll just take tomato. 
Okay. Hopefully the HP is gonna be enough. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Decently big slugs. Weakness. Annoying, but... There you go. The Seed Turtle from HP kept it alive. What do you think of the new pack? Do you think it will help increase the player base? Well... I don't know, Cole. It probably will, but it will it will definitely bring back returning players. Hopefully, it will bring some new people as well. I really hope so. I think the game is um, has a lot of um, a lot of units there that are uh, pretty fun now, man. Honestly, this new pack introduced a lot of uh, very cool mechanics. Pretty fun to play, in my opinion. Oh no, I don't think the pack itself will, uh, will be enough though. It's not like you add new content to the game and more people get exposed to it. Because the same people are still gonna play it and it's not like... Oh no, it's not like a billboard or anything, right? It needs some uh, some promotion somehow. Even though, um, well, who knows? Maybe uh, maybe like Ludwig's gonna jump back on it. I'm not sure if he plays it anymore, but... Uh, if he doesn't, he's probably gonna at least play uh, the new pack if it uh, releases, probably, right? So, I don't know. You never know, man, honestly. In this industry, you never know. This game could have been, like, the new Fortnite, and no one would have, like, thought twice. It's, like, fun enough, it's cool enough. It just needs a bit more, uh, a bit more uh, content and some more uh, quality life features and stuff like that. And, honestly, the gameplay is top-notch. It's an amazing auto battler. It's going to make weeklies a lot more exciting. That's for sure. What happened to Alganic Chameleon? Well, you never know. Probably uh, going to get added eventually. Okay, level 3 Flying Fish. Now we get um, plus 3 XP and plus 3 attack. German Shepherd, I guess that would take Gavilla to even, uh, even more dangerous uh, status, but needs stats. Round 15, definitely not gonna take that now. Yep, I don't think we're meant to win anymore. Round 15 with this combo. Well, can't have a port, a fifth unit. Okay, let's see if the XP and the HP is gonna fill up with tomato. I've got fill up with Pita. Oh, that's a good unit to use. Okay, beta fish. That yeah, was interesting, but there you go. Nine wins. Thankfully, people are testing this out as well. Well, I guess we're looking for buy and sell. Beta fish would be plus four, plus two, so I'm definitely keeping this turtle and this flank fish. Not looking to remove uh, all tomatoes. This is nice, but it maybe you could use the eggplant to maybe make it a bit more likely for the macaque and the gorilla to go up against a weaker enemy. But it's round sixteen; the enemies don't really get too weak anymore. Could just use tomato. I guess we do this. And... Level 3 Sea Turtle for more... Um, more Covilla HP. Oh man, level 2 Cobra. <sighs> My tomatoes are gonna get killed. Oh! Oh, never mind, it's the sky jumping in front. Unfortunately, pretty hard to defeat around 16 a little team. Well, we got a level 3, level 3, Citadel and Flying Fish combo. So, maybe something comes out of this. As we can see this in action. Chocolate cake will make this, um... Uh... Nah. Just take the apple. Oh wait, we had African Penguin. Oh, oh. Oh. Let's see. Round 17. Terrible stats. Only. Okay, we're dead. We have to be dead. Yep. P 
Lucky the bread keeps this thingy alive, unfortunately. Oh god. Well, it was fun funny while it lasted. Unfortunately, this is um, not incredibly amazing this late. Only four units, just so we can get a, a, a gorilla. Just not bad. It's basically having five, five units, and one of them is a gorilla. And they're always, uh, always free slot for pine cell is nice. Definitely gonna be amazing with crow and blob plus pearl stuff like that. But it's also a very big downside to have of such a small macaque stuck in your team. Some team scaling would be nice, but then again, you kind of have to keep stuff for the gorilla. Okay. I think this is nice, but just not uh, not really meant to win this late. Nine wins round 17. More tamarines, well. And at least we get this guy. <laughs> Tamarine macaque with the gorilla. Come in. The mother's fine. And it came. Last enemy yank. Three friends faint. Keep the nearest friend behind. Go like this. I guess a different way of using uh, well we have sea turtle so I guess we can try even though I really like that flying fish right I have to use both of them necessarily yeah I'm a little worried that all the new pets add a lot of complexity which is awesome for existing players but maybe intimidating to new ones yeah, I don't think it's uh it's an issue we're already uh like new players are definitely just playing static pack and easily work uh, that way up the difficulty ladder whatever also on weekly packs so um, it's definitely gonna be uh pay the fish or secretary bird secretary bird just gonna proc once if we need to summon somewhere um, Bay the fish uh, is just more reliable, but less HP on it. Hmm. I guess we could use at least something now. This guy, flank fish. Okay, you. <laughs> I like this, but not too much. Then we can have this guy in front. Oh man, so cold. <laughs> yes, we can go like this. Yeah, screw it. We'll do it for now. Okay, made a fish. Let's see. That's nice, but not incredible. Okay, we just need to win these um these fights, cause later on, all units, I mean four slots like this. Mm. Okay. Flying fish, slug, not a macaque, which I'm definitely could go for a double gorilla, but that's not a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna keep the flying fish, so we can get a level two gorilla, right? And we've got this to buff the gorilla. Mm. I guess we can go slug in front, and that's it. Oh my god. Okay, but we're sitting on four units halfway to level two, or I'd like some level ups. Okay, my macaque has, uh, well, my gorilla has one extra HP. Slug helps with that. <laughs> Two trumpets as well. <laughs> okay, that works. Not a win. I guess I level up now, so we keep winning. It's pretty important. Banana. Gotta use something on this guy. Might as well use this for now. Okay, let's see if we can get some level ups. Don't. 
I would have bought it and sold it this round. Next round we don't really care about the new units. Would have done it now to get more macaques. There you go. Lucky enough. Okay, the double banana should be uh, decent. Okay, should be good against this guy as well. That sucks, but I guess we've got monkeys to back us up. Pretty good. 265 units from 3 gold. Abilities with faint units. Oh, I've got two of them. Might as well see if we get something interesting. Wild hog. Oh, wait. It's actually pretty nuts, isn't it? Wild hog to buff the gorilla. But. I just keep. Wait. Self flying fish. Get this guy. Keep cockatoo. And just keep using waffles. Can't watch board games playing? Yo, good luck, Nam. I wish I could watch as well. Don't worry. <laughs> Catfish, cockatoo, warthog. Oh man, it's it's here. It's in, it's on the planet, goddammit. Well, we've got 5 HP. We can definitely mess around. It's winning 1 0. Hope we win. Well, good luck. I think. Uh, I think they play against um I forgot who they play against if they uh if they advance on first place. Well only level one flying fish which tested out last round. We do need to sell almost everything though. Do I have enough? Well, no, we do have to ask her. You, you, and you. Okay. We're definitely gonna suck. Terribly. But let's see uh, if the HP is gonna be enough. For us to pivot in time. Before losing the run. What? Wait, why do we win? Hm, well, to Gavilla, I suppose. So, after all, level 2 macaque does spawn. <sighs> Grouping Octopus is nicer because it buffs more units, but this is nicer for uh, the Warthog. But, oh, we gotta buff our whole team, right? Yeah, we do. I'm just gonna use this right away. Nothing. Let's roll. Yes, please. Or octopus, maybe? Okay. Well. <laughs> what is this? Summons, yeah. That, that's, that's too much, isn't it? Ink. Huh. <laughs> Thank you for that. Would have got it anyway. Ah, the ink! Oh my god. Oh well. Can't say we deserve that one, so. Hmm. Did this get changed to catfish in any way? Bamble twice. Nope. I'll keep this. See if we. Well, I'll, I'll do it. Pita bread. You have to. And either use chocolate or all. Level 2 Warthog. Level <laughs> any of these units to level 2 would be amazing. I think I'm just gonna roll. Okay, level 3 Macaque as well. Bigger Gorilla. Okay, similar team with Egyptian Vulture. Good coconut, a bad one. And I can't believe the Gorilla is big enough to actually keep winning, man. Our team has... Oh, well. Well, can't complain about winning, I suppose. You know what? Let's take the level 3 macaque. 
one more point hog. Oh man, these are amazing. You know what? Tomato would make us stronger. That's for sure. But, um... I don't mind losing one or two rounds. We've got too many wins and a lot of HP to spare. Tomato would not have done too much. It's 15 HP and a coconut. And some pretty easy stats. Ah, okay. More coconuts. Wow, this is actually wrong. Wow. Well. I guess we'll buy both of them. I kind of want to lose though. I think I'm just... Yeah, let's lose one round. Might as well not get the Warthog buff on anyone. Okay. Yep, definitely would have won against this guy, I think. The speed out, maybe. Too much. Okay. Let's see if we can get our build set up. Kakatu, you're definitely gonna go. Might as well sell you now. Let me get my team back in order. Okay, more macaques. At least one level up? Come on, man. Level 2 Warthog. Well, that's perfect. I... Yep. Unfortunately, this macaque steals a bit of the stats away from the gorilla. Ooh, strong team. Slug inside that as well. Okay, well... I guess we've kind of reached a... Uh, super late game. Or catfish. Might as well. This to level 2. Haven't seen too many waffles, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, sure. Probably should just roll for waffles now. Let's see. The line front doesn't do incredible amount of damage. That's amazing. There you go. The coconut is pretty strong, man. Let's go. 10 wins with the uh, level 3 Numukak and a pretty good combo to get some more stats on it. Just team scaling, so our units are not incredibly weak and a Warthog. Make sure this Kubila is not 